let's just get to it. The fastest DNS server. So normally what I do is I tap over here on the right side where the little uh, symbol is at, whether it's my Ethernet or Wi-Fi, tap on it. And then it says network and internet settings. Tap on it again. Scroll down right here where it says change adapter options. It's going to pop up. Then you could change whichever ones you want from right here. Whether you have Wi-Fi connected. In my case, I have only the Ethernet connected right now at the time. I have Wi-Fi, but I unplugged it from the router. I mean, I just plugged the hard cable. And then you want to go to uh, properties. And in properties, you want to tap on Internet Protocol version 4. And then once it gets like a bluish like that, you tap on properties here again. And this is where all the fun begins right now. So at this point right here, you're going to tap on where it says use the following DNS server address. Make sure that that's clicked on, and you're going to type in 8, and you're going to make sure that it's in the other box. You're going to click, left click, hover over it, left click, move over, hover over it, tap, left click, 8, 8, and then you're going to go to the bottom here, and alternative DNS is going to be 8. Eight, four, four. Bop. Now, hoping that you got that. Now, and then what you want to do, and you want to make sure when you putting these numbers in there that you're not adding the dot. It's already there. All right, just to clear that up because I had someone do that. And then you want to tap right here on validate uh, settings upon exiting. And then you want to just close out. And if there was ever any problem, you could just uh, tap back on it and obtain DNS server address automatically just to clear out, out of that. But you should be good and uh, everything should be rolling for you. And uh, you want to close out, detecting problems, troubleshooting, couldn't find a problem. Cool. I don't know why it did that because I didn't, uh, but just for me, I'll check again and it's good. I'll close out. And uh, now you just open up a, a window browser and you should be using google dns server you should be good to go and anything that you do you should be using a google dns server and hopefully you're fine and ready to go so that's basically it if you got any value out of this video consider subscribing hitting like commenting and let me know what would you like me to show you next